I thought I would do, I need my phone, the um, summer 2012 most worn things tag. So only summer, but let's just get started. So first question is most worn nail polish. And that would probably be, I don't wear my nail polishes really like that much. Like I don't wear them like twice in one week or something. But I always wear this nail polish on my toes because I think it looks the best on my toes. So, and I wear it on my nails once in a while, but right now I'm obviously not wearing it. But this is the Sinva Colors Professionals in Pink Forever 713. This is a really pretty, like, pure pink color, I would say. Like, it's a pink. There's nothing, like, to it. It's just, uh, like a perfect pink color. And then most worn hair product is probably my Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray because I really don't put anything in my hair except for this. So, this is just a heat tamer spray. I like using this because it helps, um, with stack. I mean, my hair, like kind of goes crazy at the top but it helps with like the hairs that stick straight up like not the ones that are like curled straight up like the ones that stick straight up so this really helps them and I like them most worn hair product I mean most okay three most worn bag is probably my bag right here that I did a what's in my purse warm seasons and warm seasons spring and summer and it's by these people. I don't know how to um, say the name. I'll zoom in. But it's by these people. And the actual price for this was like $70 or something. And I got a hot look or hot look, however you want to say it, um, for $29. So it's a really good deal. And I like it a lot. It's really like good for like side bags because it's really spacious. And then it has like a brown strap. So it goes with every single like thing I own. It like goes with my outfit today, honestly. It goes with everything. So I love how it's so versatile. Four most worn shoes are probably my Sperry's. I wear these all the time in warm seasons, um, except for winter because it snows where I live. So I can't wear them in winter. But they're just these sparkly Sperry's. They're really dirty because I've had them for like two years now and I always wear them. Like they match my outfit I'm wearing today. They match every single thing like I own. So I love them and yeah, they're just sparkly and I really like them. Most worn accessory, which I'm actually wearing right now, is uh, my anchor earrings that I believe, yeah, I got them from Aldo two years ago. So, no, I got them last year at Aldo. I know they don't have them anymore, though, but they're just anchor earrings. They were originally silver, but I've worn them so much, now they're copper. But I really like them. Six, most worn clothing item. And I don't really have a most worn clothing item, so... It would probably be my tennis stuff. I wanted to make this video like actually fashionable. So I went with um, my J. Crew V-necks and I just grabbed one that was hanging and I wear every single like one I have. I love these to death because they are, have a big like V-neck which is really comfortable. Obviously you wear freaking cami underneath. Um, and then my gray one, it's not see-through so I like just wearing bandeau. Um, but if it is see-through I wear a uh, cami, tank top, whatever. And it's just like... I wear mediums because I have long torso. I could wear smalls, but, smalls, but you know, um, mediums. And this fits me so good. Like, it's not, it doesn't hug your skin, which I love because American Eagle v necks always freaking do that. And I hate that. Um, so I love how J. Crews do that because it's baggy around your, like your stomach. Well, it's not only baggy around your stomach. That'll look weird. It's like, what's up with your stomach? It's like baggy all like around, um, pretty much below your bust and everything and I really like that because um actually it's just a baggy shirt in general but it's not like she looks like a hobo or anything it's like she is styling and comfortable I want to be her yeah so I really like these a lot a lot a lot seven most worn foundation which is my makeup forever HD foundation and I got this like halfway not even halfway through the summer I got this like barely halfway a little bit less than halfway through the summer. My friend actually got me this for my birthday and I seriously love it because I didn't wear foundation before it because I got too tan. But I'm in 118 and I kind of went with a lighter light color so it fit me in the winter because I really love this foundation. It's so covering. And yeah, and I, um, 118 at least for me has a yellow tint and that's really good because I'm kind of like, I have yellow undertones and I have yellow tints and everything. My friends call me Asian but you know, I'm obviously not Asian. But, um, yeah, I really love this. Covering, amazing. Definitely recommend it. Like, it's amazing. Like, I can't even get past this foundation. It's my favorite foundation I've ever used. So, I love that. It's eight, most worn blush and or bronzer. 
I just went with blush because I don't really wear bronzer. What's that noise? I don't wear bronzer really. I mean, I wore my BHS Max one in golden, but um, other than that, I don't wear it uh, really that much anymore. But this is a Tarte Amazonian um, 12 hour blush and this is in doll face and it's such like a pretty um pink color and it's super duper pigmented here let's watch it like there it lasts all day the uh, name does not lie and i love this to death and it's such a good everyday um blush and it's amazing nine most worn lip product and is probably my nyx soft matte lip cream i'm not actually wearing it today i'm wearing the istable one oh six i don't know how to pronounce it but it's like I call it Istanbul. Anyways, um, Soft Matte Lip Cream um, by NYX. And this is in Milani. And I believe the number is 11. Because I never know how I read like NYX numbers. Because it has like SMLC11. So. But it's just this really pretty like berry color pretty much. And these are so hard to explain. Like what they are pretty much. But these, you put them on your lips and they're creamy. And then like five minutes later they're dry. And you don't even like realize they're there. But they still give amazing cover. I mean, amazing pigmentation. Like, that pigmentation is amazing. And I, seriously, these replace, like, all my lipsticks. I love these so much. Even though I have two, they're amazing. Because this is a really pretty berry color. And then the one I'm wearing today is, like, a more pinkish berry color. Most worn mascara um, is probably... I don't really have a most worn mascara. Because I really don't wear mascara that much anymore. And I know my eyelashes aren't, like, super long. But they're long enough. I feel like I don't need to wear mascara. There's a plane going through. They're like long enough that I don't need to wear mascara, so I just take this Maybelline Great Lash Clear Transparent. It's mascara in the name, so I thought it would go good. But I feel like these make them like more curly for some reason. I don't know, I feel like it curls my lashes more. And then it also like, um, makes them more black, which makes them look more curly and more dark. And I feel like it's really cool because it's like wet and you put it on your eyelashes. Unless you have blonde eyelashes, obviously like that part doesn't work for you. And, um, but yeah, I, like, always change my mascaras, but this I've had for, like, a year now, I think. More than a year. Barely more than a year. And I still love it the first day I got it. Like, it's amazing. So amazing. Number 11 is most worn eyeshadow. I really don't wear eyeshadow at all until I start, like, using this palette, which I actually kind of just got. So, I mean, I didn't just get it, but I got it, like, two weeks ago. Or three. And, like, honestly, it's the most amazing palette I probably got, because... I don't wear eyeshadow that much, but um, this is starting to make me like want to wear eyeshadow a lot more. So this is the Sonia Kashuk um, Sweet Nothings palette in 16, and it just looks like this. And I've been loving the base. I actually wore the base today. I'm you can't really see it because it's a base, but it's pretty much like my skin color. Maybe a hint tanner because it I have a yellow kind of skin, and this is more tan. Now I've been loving this one to just put all over my lid as another like eyeshadow base because this is a cream base and this is an eyeshadow base and then um they have like really pretty like champagne -y colors and it's just such a good palette okay i guess like the thing ended on me because my camera stops at 11 minutes so i guess i forgot to say bye but with that being said if you guys have any beauty video requests please leave in the comments below and i'll talk to you guys later and bye